What is good guys and girls of YouTube? My name is Justin Omobi and I'm here with a video for you guys and girls to teach you about your music and your artistry and such. Today we're talking about that slice X. Like you're gonna cut your X because you know why not? Except it's a crime to slice your X. So let's just do it in the computer. So what slice X is in FL Studio it's basically a slicing a song or a file that you put inside the actual plugin. For an example, if I were to take a song or a uh, little loop from, I don't know, a video game like, I don't know, Pokemon, 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 and I put it inside Slice X. So let's say, um, the, was it Palatown? Da -da 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 I could take that file, drag it into Slice X, and then I could set markers or let it automatically set it so I could cut these little sections out. So you could have Dena as one, and then da 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 as another one, and then da 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 the whole thing as you know after have that another marker as well. Da 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 yeah, you get it. If you guys and girls are into sampling or using other songs inside of your material, this is the plugin to go to and use, you know, semi religiously. So yes, what I'm going to do now is go into the computer and show you both an example I did as well as how to, you know, use the whole thing and yeah. Let's go into the computer and slice this X up. All right, guys and girls, we are in FL Studio here. Uh, this, don't worry about that. So here's slice X. If you don't know how to get that, right click, insert, slice X, which is doo -doo, right here. So yes, anyways. Slice sex. So for this example, it's gonna be from you see here, Final Fantasy. Um I Battle 3, Final Fantasy 3. I, I don't remember. It's from I know it's in Dissidia though. That's that game. So yeah, I'm gonna hit play and you're gonna see uh basically the example. So yeah, hit play. Notice that. basically it for now so yeah that's what i got there with the whole sample so let me just play this sample for you like unedited i guess just a section so yeah <laughs> But yes, that is basically the sample I use. And as you see, there's little markers, intro, two. So intro is in, right there, C1 or C, you know. So yeah, that's just an example. Let me just go ahead and make a new project and talk about every one of these functions. Well, not every, every. But yeah, I'll just talk about the necessities and show you another example on its own. So yeah, let's do that. All right, the time's 1.42 p.m. <laughs> a lot of stuff happened. So yeah, I'm gonna make this quick and simple just to let you guys and girls understand the basics to it. So yes, uh, right here, I got a sound, Super Mario Brothers theme two. Do, 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 do. Oh, I already had it in there, duh. But anyways, I'm gonna click this and drag it into Slice X. So yes, I'm gonna click this and drag it, drop it into there. Hit the stop to stop that, bam. Uh, slice six is in track six. Let me go ahead and reset that. All right, keep slice six on zero. All right, cool. So now we have the sound, the whole dang song inside of slice six. We could go ahead and cut a big portion. We we don't really need that. So yeah, cool. So uh, I'm also gonna delete the beginning piece a little bit. Bah, with the delete key, click, drag. You'll make a red highlight. And then delete key deletes it. So yeah, right here we could zoom, um, not zoom, but go left and right inside the track. We could click here, go in and out. To add a marker, all you have to do is click uh, anywhere where you want the marker. So if we want the marker to be at the beginning, click over there. It's right now it's in the beginning. Click over here and go to add marker. Bop. 
So we have to name the marker. Let's call this intro. Cool. So if we were to hit C on the keyboard, the middle C, C3. Notice the whole thing is highlighted. See, it's orange, now it turned red. That's because when you hit a marker, it goes until the next marker. So let's say we want to go up to right here. Do -do 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 -do. Right here, we could add another marker. The bop, add marker, bam. Let's name this verse or start. Of course, it'll go all the way to the left, but just click and drag it. Bop, just like that. And back. Cool. Now if I hit the C, um, the middle C key, notice it's only that little section there. All right, next up, let's say we want to only select a little piece. Let's say we don't want to um, have this piece right here. Let's say the do this one. Let's say we don't want that in our next marker. Let's say we just want, um, yeah, for some reason we want do 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 do. So let's go here. Um, I'll just go to the end point. You can scroll all the way in, which is cool, all the way to the point. And now we have a highlight. We could select a region now. So if I click here, pop, add region, pop, name this, uh, I don't know, region, <laughs> creative. So yeah, as we have here, now we got this to there and we have this region. So, ow. All right, cool. Now we got the region, but because there's a marker and another marker, we're going to have this note, you know, called in as well. So let's go intro. The next one's going to be the do do, And then the region. Next, I'll talk about the next most important thing, which is the region settings. So notice if I press the intro one, it changes the intro. If I hit the verse, region, shows the region. So whatever key you hit, it will show, or you can just click and then select it from here. So I'm going to use the verse one, which is this. So we have different uh, settings here. Let me go ahead and talk about them. First one is the out. The out will allow you to put it into a di different mixer within the, uh, you know, mixer right here. So if I set this to five, it'll show up here. Just be in mind, keep in mind, if we were to put it into track five slice X, it'll go five up. So the do do will be in number 10. So basically five more than what you set the track to be. See that's in five. That's in 10. That's what it does. Let me just put it to one. Cool. Cut is basically, all right. all right, cool. I had to help my brother out with something real quick. Anyways, the cut option is going to cut a sound that is played within the same group. So for example, if we set the cut for, for this sound and the cut for, and the cut for that sound into the same group, so it's one, if I were to play this one and play this one over it, it will cut. So example, notice it cuts. But if I were to do like the intro and press one of those, notice how that didn't work. If the intro is in cut one, then guess what? Just like that. So if you want to immediately cut stuff, you have to put it within the same group. If this was cut to the intro, it won't work unless the verse is in two. Just like that. The amp is going to be basically, let's raise, let's bump this up. The first one is the pan. So wherever you put it left or right. And the second one is the volume. This is if you want to have a louder sample than the others. Just to, uh, you know, sometimes you can use it, mainly you can use it to balance sounds and keep it consistent, although you can use a compressor, I'm just saying. The articulators have to do with filters, these little filter groups here. So if we put a band pass times two and set the cut to like over here or whatever, set the articulator 
to number one. Notice it has that little filter on it. The filter option has to do with the filter as well. It'll help change the, um, what is it, the cutoff and the resonance. Yeah. Cool. You just have to make sure that the articulator is set, the filter is set, or else nothing will work. Speed, you, you probably know this one. That's cool. So yeah, this could help um, change up the sound, make it sound kind of unrecognizable to some people, and yeah. Last but not least, we have the start option, which sets this one's a delay, and this one over here is a sample start. So if I were to set the sample start, so this will move the start point, you know, offsetting. So if I were to take the intro, Notice that offsetting. It only goes that much you see there in the red. So yeah. The delay. I'm not sure if you could uh, see that, but when I press the key down, it gives a delay before it starts. That's good for some um, notes if you want to keep them on beat in the MIDI. I don't really got you know, think too much about it. The last function right here, the articulator amount is the amount of the filter. Articulators, basically the filters, filters, we talked about this, low pass, band pass, the band stop, which is a notch or a band canceling. It's like a little, um, what's it, V-shape and it cuts off. We also have a high pass here. And these are filter modes, which is single, dual, triple, which is a type of, um, was it bandwidth? It's a kind of intensity to it. Envelope, this is going to be where we uh, set the point. So the amounts, cut, cut off frequency, res, resonance. So yeah, notice with the filter, we could do that as well. Over here, we have different options for pans and stuff. This is like, um, this is in SliceX as well. So yeah, for these points, it depends on what you set them. So for this one, I'll put this down here. I'll put this one up here. So it's going to be, you know, left and right. And this depends on the velocity of the note. So depending on how fast I hit the note, will change its pen, its position. So if I press it really low, it's on the left side. If I press it really quick, it's on the right side. So you can see the little line. The mod X and Y will trigger, you know, whatever you set. So let's say the cut. Let's put the cut and then have, um, put this down here and let's, let's just make it funky. The mod X and we could do it with the mod Y as well. Let's do the resonance with mod Y. So bam, so it's changing the resonance depending on how we move this. X is the left and right. Y is the up and down. Don't forget cut and res has to do with the filter. So we have to have the filter on. So I'm gonna set, you know, band pass. This will change up the cut and the resonance. So yeah, depending on what you do will, you know, trigger that amount on the uh, envelopes. So yes, same thing, speed, speed here, start, start. Hopefully you guys and girls understand that. That's basically it. Um, uh, one more thing I'll talk about since, you know, this video is getting freaking long. I doubt we're going to get it by 3 p.m. Um, yeah, we're not. So yeah, this is the master level. These will control the global settings because we have two decks and we can use two different sound samples. And yeah, so this will change the master level. This one will change the randomness. Doesn't work because we didn't set the randomness, which is over here. And random is, you know, like randomly selecting shit. Uh, yeah, it's only if you set the random. LFO, this works with the LFO over here, which has to do with changing the speed and shapes and stuff, feed, you know, PW, pulse width. Yeah. So notice that sound. Yeah, that 
that's because we got the random on. But yeah, that's what it does. Notice that change. And last, the master pitch. That changes uh, these sounds as well. So yeah, keep that in mind when you are tweaking these masters. The modulation, just like I showed you, you could uh, right click and create automation clips and put them in your your preset, uh, your playlist, so you can use them. Auto dump, that's the option to dump the sound automatically into the piano roll when you drop the sound in. So if I were to create another marker, the auto dump option will drop the notes in as soon as it's put in. So if I were to create another marker, let's go here. So yeah, notice up here we have that V208, why not, whatever, you know. That's what it is. Keyboard input, this is for type keyboard shortcuts. If we deselect it, we won't be able to do um, shortcut keys that are in uh, SliceX. So if I select it and I press something like uh, T, it changes into the spectrum. So yeah, notice right there, if we set S, S will go back to this. Yeah, layering, this does, again, all global stuff. We'll have to with the two decks and the last option here is just the setting to show you the visuals we want this we want that we want this we want everything just in case you want to save some space so yes that is slice x all you got to do is put them in there and then create the midi in the piano roll so let's say we want to do 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 so let's say we do that that is slice x i know i said i want to make it quick but you know what if we're late, might as well be late and accurate and teach you about this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, these things here have to do with Edison. I'll probably talk about it another time. That's why I didn't speak about it. Deck A, deck B, you know the gist. You know, you know the story. So yes, Slice X, that's what it is. Yeah. All right, guys and girls, that is the Slice X video. I know I said I'm going to make this quick, but it didn't turn out quick. And yeah, the time, what is the time? 2.12 p.m. So I definitely am not going to have this out by 3 o'clock, but that's all right. If you follow me on Twitter, at OMOI1993, you're going to be able to see my updates of when I put the video out, just in case you're curious or you want to see, or, you know, just keep the notifications. You can stay up to date when, when I have videos put out, when I'm going to put it out. If I do not have it at 3 p.m. You guys stick along. I do make stuff like tweets about artist tips to help you guys and girls out. Extra stuff. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you like my video and want to stick around and see more updated ones. If you like the beat that I played at first, the Final Fantasy one, you could click the I button over there, I think over there, to get that full beat there. I put it up for free because hey, I'm not going to make a profit off of that because I sample someone else's stuff and I don't want to get in trouble. And if you want to support me, listen to my own music, listen to the beats I make if you want to buy, it's in the featured channel list in my profile, you know, at the right side. If you're on PC, I don't know about tablet, phones, and stuff like that. Just check it out. It's their Omoe Beats. And yeah, enough self-promotion. I'm out of this. I got to edit this. Steady working. And yeah, I got to take care of my brother too that just came in doctor's appointment. So yes, peace out. Still gonna cut my ex, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no ex.